Hey guys, I'm really excited to share this week's project with you. I wanted to design a bigger project for you to create over the holiday season this year. A macrame poinsettia was the first project that came to mind. If you're enjoying my tutorials, a quick like, comment, and subscribe really helps out my channel. Thanks so much. Let's jump right in. For this project, you'll need 340 feet of 3mm string in the color sangria, or 250 feet of 3mm string in the color Christmas red, and 90 feet of 3mm string in the color shamrock. You'll also need 10 feet of 3mm metallic gold string. For each poinsettia, we will create 4 small petals, 4 medium petals, and 3 large petals. If you'd like to create the burgundy poinsettia, create all petals using the same color. If you'd like to create the red poinsettia with the green leaves, create 1 large petal and 2 leaves in place of the other 2 large petals. I'll take you through how to create each petal starting with a small one. Cut 6 pieces of string, each piece is 3 feet in length. Fold one piece in half. Fold a second piece in half to find the center, and then tie two vertical double half hitch knots. Repeat that process to add three more pieces of string. Use the outside right cord as your filler cord and tie four double half hitch knots working to the left. Repeat on the left side of your work.
connect the pedal in the middle of your work by tying a reverse double half hitch knot. If you need more help with this knot, please see the description for a link to my tutorial on how to tie it. Use the inside right cord as your filler cord and the inside left cord as your working cord. Repeat that process to tie two more rows of double half hitch knots on both sides of your work. I'll show you one more time. Repeat that process one more time to create one more row on each side of your work. We will tie one more row of double half hitch knots on each side of our work, this time picking up a cord as we move along so that all cords end up in the middle of our work. Do not tie the reverse double half hitch knot for this row. Grab the last piece of string, fold it in half to find the center, and tie five square knots around all cords.
Here's what one small petal should look like once complete. Repeat this process to create three more small petals. Push the middle of the petal out so that it creates more of a flat shape to resemble the petal of a poinsettia. Next we will create four medium petals. Cut eight pieces of string, each piece is four feet long. Fold one piece in half. Fold a second piece in half to find the center and then tie two vertical double half hitch knots. Repeat that process to attach five more pieces of string to your work. You should have one piece of string left, set that aside for now. Repeat the same process as you did to create the small petal, except this time tie six rows total, five rows of double half hitch knots on both sides of your work, and then one final row where you pick up the cords as you go to bring all cords to the middle of your work. I'll show you one row, and then you can use the same process for the remaining rows. Grab the last piece of string, fold it in half to find the center, and then tie six square knots around all cords. Create three more medium petals so that you have four petals total. Create three large petals if you're creating the burgundy poinsettia or one large petal and two leaves if you're creating the red poinsettia. Use the same process, just switch the color to create the leaves. Cut nine pieces of string, each piece is five feet in length. Set one piece aside, Fold one piece in half and then attach the remaining seven pieces of string to your work using vertical double half hitch knots. Tie eight rows of double half hitch knots total on both sides of your work, seven rows and then one final row that picks up all cords. Grab the last piece of string, fold it in half to find the center and then tie six square knots around all cords. Here's what your one large petal and two large leaves will look like once completed. Here's the full set of leaves and petals so you can see it all together.
Cut 10 1 foot pieces of 3 mm gold string. Tie an overhand knot at the top of each piece. Cut one five foot piece of red or burgundy string. Set it aside for now. Arrange the petals as I've done here to create your flower and then add the gold string to the middle. You might need an extra hand for this part. Grab the 5 foot piece of string and wrap it around your work tying a reef knot to secure it. Wrap the cord around the petals a few times and then tie another reef knot. Thanks so much for watching.